Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. I know that this is going to come as a huge surprise. The Office of Inspector General has found that there are delays in community care consult processing and scheduling. Who knew? So here we are, right? We've been complaining about it for a long time. Now, this is one specific medical center in the nation. However, if you see a problem in one spot, it's probably somewhere else, too. This is just the spot that the Office of Inspector General uh, looked into. Could have been because they had more complaints there or what have you. So with that, I want to dive into it, see what we could pull out. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you want to support the channel in other ways, you can do that by becoming a member. You can do that on the homepage. You'll see the highlighted members and a join button. Thank you so much to all you members and subscribers and thumbs up. Or everybody does their part. Many hands make light work. So let's jump into this. The headline again, <clears throat> delays in community care consult processing and scheduling at the Martinsburg VA Medical Center in West Virginia. The OIG, now this just came out um, May 2nd, 2024. The OIG received a hotline complaint about delays by staff at the Martinsburg VA Medical Center in processing and scheduling veterans community care consults. These consults are referrals to non-VA providers for clinical services. The OIG substantiated that as of February 28th, 2023, there were over 5,000 active consults, meaning staff were working to process them. That took, that staff took more than 100 days to make the first contact attempt with the veteran. That's more than three months, folks. That's unacceptable. Remember, not too long ago, I don't remember, five years ago or so, uh, there was put in the ability for us to utilize this type of care if the VA was over 30 days to support you in your uh, condition. If your appointment was going to be more than 30 days or if you had to travel you know, beyond a certain distance, you could request uh, community care. And um, you know, here they're taking more than 100 di more than 100 days to make the first contact attempt with the veteran. Let's move on. And that staff took longer than 45 days on average to schedule veterans for care in the community, well in excess of the seven-day requirement. Yeah, maybe requirements a loose word. I'm not sure. While evaluating the merits of the specific complaints, the OIG learned that in an effort to make staff aware of the repercussions of, ult of uh, ultimately, oh, untimely, uh, repercussions of untimely scheduling, the chief of community care had sent her full team a list of veterans who had passed away with unscheduled consults. So, I really hate bashing the VA, but this does nothing good for them. It, in fact, embeds the saying of deny until you die, and here we are. You want community care? Okay. Now you're dead. What a horrific uh, circumstance. Action must be taken. But let's cut the budget for staff. All right, anyway, let's move on. The list contained uh, personally identifiable information. The OIG determined that community care scheduling delays occurred because of, and looks like there's three kind of core reasons of why. So let's jump into those. The OIG determined that community care scheduling delays occurred because of, one, ineffective processes used to manage community care consults. Two, shortages of specialty care providers, such as in several specialties, including gastro, uh, inner, uh, gastro, whatever, you get it, radiology, orthopedics, cardiology, and so forth. 
So, you know, they need more private community doctor partners in this community care program. However, remember, not too long ago, there was pay issues getting them paid. So you're not going to have people jumping up going, hey, I want to get in on that where I don't get paid. That's always fun. All right. So number three here, a lack of controls to ensure manager accountability for consult timeliness. All right. So those are the three reasons that the OIG has uh, determined that uh, that contributed to the scheduling delays. Moving on, the OIG recommended ensuring that personal information of veterans is only shared on a need-to-know basis, evaluating alternative workflows to improve consult processing and scheduling, exploring ways to increase the availability of specialty care providers and adding to the community care chief's performance plan standards related to the metrics for community care. All right, so there's a couple things in that. One, you don't need to send every, you know people's personal identifiable information um, out to, I guess, send a message to your staff. Uh, you could just give numbers, right? You don't need to send um, all of the information. So remember that it said that the, uh, the chief of community care had sent her whole team a list of veterans who had passed away with unscheduled consults. The list contained personally identifiable information. So that's number one. The other piece here uh, is obviously exploring ways to increase the availability of specialty care providers. Okay, so working in the community to find uh, additional resources that they can um, utilize and get signed up to be community care providers for, for VA. Is it a pay thing? You know, you got to figure out what the, what the problem is. Is it just a lack of effort, you know, not going out there and creating these relationships? Um, you can't rely on people coming to you. You need to go find them and let them know that this is an opportunity. So the, the last piece here, which I, which I actually am a little, I guess I'm not really surprised, but I'm glad that they're doing it. Adding to the community care chief's performance plan standards related to the metrics for community care. So what I'm guessing here is that uh, there's going to be some KPIs or something, some key performance indicators, some metrics that will be analyzed with regard to the uh, community care chief's overall annual performance plan, whatever, that they will be held accountable to and ideally have their feet to that fire a little bit uh, with regard to any sort of promotions and uh, maybe even longevity in that uh, position. So with that, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.